today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that does some makeup content. And today I am planning on playing with the Tinker Bitch palette from Colourpop. Or Tinkerbell palette, but... She's a bitch. So I do really like the colors of this palette. I think this is one of the most fun color story they have done the latest and uh, I think I've only used this palette once so I do really want to use it and I am planning on doing a green halo eye today and I do really hope it will work but I think it will and um, yeah, I think we just get started so I will actually have a green color for this halo eye it's not all the time I do it and I will take sleep and then I will take awake and pixie dust on my lid so I will just take sleep I'm not sure about this not really but I'm just going to do it anyway I don't remember when this palette came out but I do remember that I did really like the color story and I do not like Tinkerbell. I think it's surprising that in Disney that she's not the villain because she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I was really really surprised about this palette and I do, the time that I've used it, I do think it was a good palette. And I do think they did a fun color story because I think it's a little bit like dark as well. I was expecting like a more bright and colorful palette when it was Tinkerbell, but this is actually really really fun. So okay, this color was <laughs> really really green. And really nice green. It took a little while to build it up, but um, it looks good. And I do really hope that the lighting isn't too off. I usually have uh, lead strip up here that is giving some backlight, but um, the cats couldn't like leave it alone. We had it to the ceiling. But they couldn't leave it alone. So I took it down. So we will see. This is the first video that I'm filming after I've took it down, so we will see how it looks. Okay, it feels like I've forgotten a little bit how to do a <laughs> halo eye. So and I will take awake this dark one and what I can remember. But I can remember this is pretty dark, but I will cut my crease, my halo is a really pigmented dark green with a little hint of blue, bluish green. Okay, do I still know how to do a halo eye? It feels like I haven't done a halo eye in forever. Okay, I think somewhat like this going to be good and now I'm going to try to do it on this eye as well. I usually do it really good on one of the eyes. Then when I'm trying to do the other eye, I usually like fuck it up. I really wish that I was good enough to put on my eyeshadow with both of my hands. I can do that with mascara, but I can't do it with eyeshadow. Maybe I should practice to try to do that. Okay, so I will try to cut this little halo. And I'm taking my NYX glitter primer. I always want to say glitter glue, but it's a glitter primer. And I will cut this and then I will go in with Pixie Dust, this one. Oh, 
okay. What do I think? I'm not really sure actually. And I have pixie dust all over my face. I will try one thing. I will go in with Neverland, this darker green shimmer and try to connect the really dark matte and the, um, the pixie dust. I think it looks like I thought it would look but I don't know if I'm like super happy with it. I think taking the darker shimmer made it a little bit better but don't know if it is amazing but maybe maybe I just need as usual like my lower lash line some brows some face makeup but you know what I will fix the other eye and do everything done and we will see how it will look if it will look better but I think I think I can make it work actually I really hope I can make it work so yeah I will fix this it fix my face and then I come back the finished look and I do like it for my waterline I did use a one from NYX in Hot Dang and on my lips I took Rapture yeah Rapture from Lethal and it feels like I need a bit more and yeah it feels better now when I have everything on and I do really like I do like this look it feels like it was a long time ago since I did a halo so I did use pixie dust Neverland, Sleep and Awake and yeah <laughs> my second impression of this is also that I do really like it and I think this is one of Colourpop's good formula and I think it's a fun fun color story and uh, maybe yeah but I think uh, I, I don't think it's anything that I would change with this one I do think it's a fun palette and I love it that it did something a little bit more grungy when it comes to a Tinkerbell palette and I think this is the most fun Disney Club they have done. Yeah, I guess that was all for this video. I'm trying to do some shorter videos as well. So yeah, I don't know what more to say. I do hope that you've liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one.